I like how in this particular court system, there's like no case preparation whatsoever. Yes. No discovery. There is normally you just like case throwing preparation. entering evidence in in the middle of the trial, I was like whatever. Selling prescriptions when I saw a man fleeing. In a <laughs> <laughs> we decided to hire you on to the uh, voiceover uh, version of this game <laughs> for all the voices. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. Dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in our apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found the public phone. <laughs> I remember the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. My well, undertaker will destroy with the autopsy you report. at SummerSlam. <laughs> the man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Okay. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Why indeed did you not tell the truth, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> you can't defend someone from a crime if they don't tell the truth about the crime they committed. I mean... How old is this game? As old Wait. as the deal. Because... Almost. But, like, cell phones were still pretty ubiquitous in Japan in, like, 2003. <laughs> it's 2001. Is the DS really that old? Yeah, yes. it's 2001. Man, I'd still... This is a lawyer who's never heard of a cross-examination. <laughs> In an alternate universe, this game was obscure, and then um, Trauma Center became the famous uh, job simulation <laughs> game, starring yeah. a guy who's completely unqualified for his position. Your client's innocent, right? Yeah, why would I defend a client who wasn't innocent? I mean, what kind of monster would I be? Hey, how do you prove he's not? <laughs> Literally rub it in the witness's face. Make physical contact with the witness. Okay. Alright, this seems fun, right? I like this kind of shit. So... The autopsy... Okay, so I, I think... Wait, if there's a blackout... Wait, I see. Because it's 1 p.m., right? If he finds right. your dead he says at 1, it's 1 p.m. PM and the autopsy says 4 to 5. Yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. Which seems like a really dumb detail to mention specifically.
I'm still that the fucking name. <laughs> are are all the names in Phoenix Wright puns? Because I would that would be really great. I think a lot of them are. Like a lot of this is very silly. It can yep. get a little melodramatic, but for the most part, it's silly. Dude, he said there was a blackout already. <laughs> so, we have an extremely incompetent client, but at least we have an extremely incompetent murderer also. I also like how the judge is just, like, not phased by this at all. <laughs> I don't like how the judge just like nods sagely, like, yes, hmm, hmm. You have pointed out something interesting. <laughs> yep. Do you have any explanation for this, Mr. Sawid? And, uh, do you, Mr. Payne, do you have an explanation for why your client is flop sweating buckets? <laughs> and occasionally lapsing into Smeagol poses? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony. You know, it's it's not really necessary, <laughs> but it's preferred. And respectful. Tell you what, have you got one? Did you bring one today? If so, could we hear it? <laughs> We'd be interested in hearing it. Very forbearing judge. So this is basically like the gameplay loop essentially is like the uh. the witness will say something, you will present evidence that'll counter that claim, and then right. they'll start to like say another part of the story, and that's kind of where you get to throw in your next piece this... of evidence, and it all kind of rolls. So there's no like, you don't go to the scene of the crime and investigate like no, you Sherlock do. style. It's all, well, you do. oh you do? No, you do, yeah. Oh. This is just, like, because it's the tutorial, I think they just throw right, you in. Right, I see. But, like, you have to collect the evidence to be able to present it. It doesn't just show up for you. In this situation, you already have everything. I see. Alright, so pitch. This game... But uh, there are no lawyers, and instead you're just Judge Judy. <laughs> the Judge, Judge Judy, Judy is way too game. OP to be in a video game. I'm just gonna call yeah. it right there. <laughs> it's like, what about like a movie about, like a game about, like, God doing his thing? You know, you don't mess with that. Too OP. I'm pretty sure, um,. I'm pretty sure Peter Molyneux made the game like four times and it sucked every single time. I know, right? What kind of fucking <laughs> bullshit save is this? <laughs> Man, we really ran Peter Molyneux out of town on a rail, didn't we? Just occurred to me. Like, he ain't done shit in nine years at this point. I guess, I guess Godus was well, 2014, so that's five years. Five, it has been five years since uh, Molyneux has risen from the swamp. Is there any way to counter, like, oh, this isn't actually a clock? Um, what happens if we say yes here? I mean, <laughs> they're just like, well, fucking obviously, yes. Uh, 
Uh, Judge, contradiction. Um, looking at my dictionary here, and clock and statue are on completely f fucking different pages. I've got the thesaurus <laughs> here, too, and I'm not seeing clock under fucking statue. So maybe there's a problem with... I don't know, maybe there's a problem with this entire case. Ooh. Face crack. So glad we brought you along for this one, Red Scar. Oh, you're quite welcome. Oh, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims except the fact that my defendant just completely fucking imploded right on the stage. Try sounding the clock? He is the thinker, which means he is the talker. It's surprising, like, how... I, I was expecting to have to, like, provide more evidence here, but it seems to be kind of running itself. Well, it's like a casual game, right? Yeah. The path isn't always as clear, and it's not as straightforward, but but yeah, it does... If you know how to match everything up, it runs straightforward. How do you know it's running three hours slow on the day of the murder? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? All the way down here, his spot, and look what happened. Batteries. Yeah, no, Larry's case is very weak now. I, I, if I were the judge, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, he's, he's, he's done. She bought it in Italy or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So this doesn't prove shit, by the way. Yeah, the passport from Paris. So, there you go. Oh, I can't present this yet. Can't you? 
I have to actually. Uh, I, I was bringing it up beforehand. I was saying, like, like, maybe I could just provide it at any point during this dialogue, but there's a specific point. Wait a minute, okay, hang on. <laughs> You're not supposed to acknowledge the pun name. Oh, he died. Only yeah! Theater has the power to do that. Also pay I have to pay respects for the poor man. <laughs> I'm actually So if this were a Judge like... Judy game, he he would have just done that in the beginning and just died. What yeah, like as are... soon as he walked into the barrier, like the the radius, <laughs> it's just spontaneously of just busted. I'm actually like looking up what places are four hours uh, from France. No, it was nine hours fast. I, is the time difference from Paris to Tokyo nine hours though? I I think it's that seems right. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Was it nine hours? Okay, so hang on. Okay, so it takes a it sure takes place in Los Angeles, but when they're localized, they take place in. So when they're localized, they take place in Los Angeles. Well, Paris is nine hours difference from L.A. Right, that makes sense. I, I imagine, like, maybe the details of that particular time difference thing is different in the Japanese version. <laughs> nah, he's guilty too! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how they have confetti. <laughs> well, that's it. The innocent verdict of the, the month. What's dumb is that if he hadn't come to testify, he probably would have gotten away with it. Yeah. Like, what actual evidence was there linking him to the murder? It's not the crime, it's the cover-up. I imagine the... In, in subsequent cases, when you're actually investigating, like, you find evidence that you could use to link a, another person to the murder, or crime, or Oh, wacky hijinks. Even though he got off, his girlfriend is still murdered. Ex-girlfriend. Wow, this is like, surprisingly dark. And, like, <laughs> unpleasant. <laughs> I don't remember what his name is. <laughs> Harry Butts Innocent. Wait, he is Larry Butts, right? He is Larry Butts. Okay. 